Here we go. Under the water. Woo! Oh my! Hey there! Bite blogger here. On my way home. Woo! Tonight I'm going to talk about my flashlight. The Zebra SC62W. Link in the description below. Going a different way home tonight. Than usual, at least. Different than usual. <clears throat> I'm going to take the main road here for just a little bit. It's Friday night. Hang on to those handlebars. Let's see, I'm going 25. Single speed is all I need. All right, we're gonna make a ride up here onto Brindle Avenue. I'm gonna take this all the way north until I reach Snowden. I think it's spelt the same way as that Snowden character with the NSA or whatever organization CIA he was with. And he uh, was a whistleblower of sorts. The United States government didn't like that. Anyway, I go about a mile up this road. I haven't gone this way home before. I sort of just discovered it. It's sort of neat looking. A little shortcut that the, uh, no stop sign. A little shortcut that the cars cannot take across the creek. You'll see when I get to it. Anyway, about my light. No stop sign. Cool. Um, there's a stop sign. I don't know exactly where I'm going because I haven't gone this way before. But my light it's 900 lumens, neutral white color, zebra light, like I said. Whew. Um, I like it a lot, including the battery. It weighs only 90 grams, extremely lightweight, very compact. Because of that, it doesn't have great heat dissipation, but whatever. I'm going to go straight at this intersection here. Whew. A little bit further north here. And then we'll make a left onto Snowden, like I said, which as I cross uh, Laclede, it changes to Hicks. And it's this, it's this little community, what's left of it, uh, before the Minards hardware store came in and tore down a bunch of houses. I think it's uh, this is rank and I think it's the next one I want. I think it's actually called the Hadley Township as you would suspect a bunch of poor folks live back in there. It's a shame to see people's houses taken away from them. They are, of course, compensated, but gets in an eminent domain and everything else. I don't think they 
make a left here. I think this is Snowden. Anyway, about the flashlight, it lasts for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half at a very high setting of somewhere between 700 and 900 lumens. It's a regular flashlight, not a bike light. So you gotta point it downward. Um, it's got a belt clip on it though, I love that. So in the morning, I can just stick it on my belt. I don't even have to mount it on my bike. I use a cheap bike mount, costs like two bucks, link in the description below for that. It works great with this light, uh, holds it really well. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way, I want to go straight now. <clears throat> All right. um, you got to use some shims with the mount so the screw doesn't come up and bump up against the uh, flashlight but it works out real well it's really easy to use and then again lightweight which is awesome and I don't think I can ride my bike here I think I gotta get off so let's do that oh. yeah look at this this is ridiculous my handlebars are only 42 centimeters wide I think but still that is a tight spot not worth getting hurt over so that was a little creek we just crossed over it's called the Hampton branch uh, offshoot of the Deer Creek which is a large uh, waterway anyway I go up here now getting toward Hanley Road a big road around here at least uh i think i go i think i go left here actually Whew. so yeah the flashlight bike light flashlight i like a lot whole bunch more info in the description below it's waterproof if you want to take it underwater <laughs> All right, and there's the Minards straight ahead there in uh, Richmond Heights. We're on the border of, we're basically at the nexus of the universe between the three cities of Richmond Heights, Brentwood, and Maplewood, Missouri. Alright, we're going to make a left here when we get the signal, which probably won't be for a little while, because there aren't really any people who wait at this light over here, which is why I chose this route. It's a little quieter, um, except for the gas station people and uh, those folks that live back there. There aren't many houses back there. There's about 20 of them left. Because this construction site to my left, they tore down probably 100 houses, you know, and uh, hundreds of trees to build a stupid hardware store. We got a Home Depot straight across the street. We got a Lowe's hardware store just down the street over there, less than a mile. Oversaturated with hardware stores and they have to make these huge parking lots so anyway enough ranting <clears throat> we should get the signal eventually my bike is on the the wire strip here but it looks like a no I was, I was gonna say maybe it looks like a car is getting behind me I'm sure some of these motorists are wondering where the heck I came from. So I didn't know you could get back through there, but there's that little bridge I crossed, and that was pretty cool. Got a car behind me now. Or maybe my flashlight's just very bright. <laughs> it is pretty bright.
got a left turn signal, so here we go. All right. So I have never gone this way, you know. We're not gonna be on this road very long. I could stay on this big road a little longer. It'd probably be pretty fun. There's that Minard's over there to the left. It'd probably be pretty fun because I'd be going downhill a lot. They're probably going pretty fast, but we're turning off the road here. I'm gonna go back in here into the uh, Hanley Industrial Court area. make a right over here. We're passing under a Metrolink light rail train bridge. We're going to make a right here. Like with a lot of things when you're riding a bike, don't squeeze the brake levers really hard. Uh, and especially be very careful with squeezing a brake lever when you only got one hand on the bike and you're using another hand to signal. Because if you squeeze it too hard, oh, I don't even want to imagine what would happen. It's never happened to me before, but I imagine you'd probably go over the bars and it'd probably hurt quite a lot. And even more if there's a car riding your tail. I don't get a lot of that, so that's just lucky, I guess. Different city, different drivers. Some are oblivious, some are scared. They just want to do whatever it takes to get past the cyclists, you know. And uh, some are just used to it. It helps to ride around in an area where a lot of cyclists go. I'm not really riding in such an area right now, though. But, uh, and if not that, then an area like, like this actually, sort of right now, it's pretty quiet, you know, quiet areas. More pleasant to ride in, around in. So to my right is the Brentwood Promenade. I'm going to get wet here. Here we go. Under the water. Woo! Oh my. I don't know, did I get the lens wet? The camera? I tried to cover it up by uh, leaning down like this. I don't know if the camera's messed up or not. Let's uh, give it a little wipe, just in case. Or I might just make things worse. Haven't done a rain cycling video in a while. I need to do that again. But we're way off topic, so you know. It happens if you've seen any of my other videos. I often get far off topic. So now we're getting in a dark area. So let's talk more about my light. Very bright, very light, awesome light. So, you know, different people have different, you know, things they want to know about, you know, a product. A lot of people, of course, always ask, what's the price? I think this light costs like 80 or 90 bucks, so it's expensive especially for how small it is. Uh, but it only uses one 18650 battery. We're gonna cross a bridge here. Let's go slow in case there's pedestrians. Spooky. Ooh. I don't know, is that the sound a, a ghost makes? I don't know where that even originates from. Why? Why people think ghosts, you know, make like a woo woo sort of sound. Ugh. Probably just the old Hollywood movies or something, I guess. Let's make a left. Go slow. Alright. I climb this hill. What else can I tell you about the flashlight? My bike light. Well, a lot of people are always asking me about it. So I'm creating this video. And if anyone ever asks about it again, I just say, here's the link, go check it out. I wish I could demonstrate it more. Well, I am demonstrating. I mean, 
show you it more in the light. But I mean, honestly, what you should really be concerned about or care about is what does it look like in the dark and uh, whether the camera's good at, oh wow, this road is so nice and smooth. I repaved this less than a month ago and it's really nice. It's asphalt though, so it'll probably get all torn up in the winter when the snow plows come through. Whew. Anyway, let's see if we can even see the, yeah, okay, they didn't repave this part right here where the uh, uh, wire strip goes for the cars. Almost, almost done with our commute here. Maybe a little longer than some of my other videos, but hey, that's okay. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's bright enough here at the intersection you can sort of see the light, see how small it is. Uh, it's sort of ribbed. Um, they might have a new model now that's not ribbed. Uh, I sort of like it because you get more grip on it. I like that the light is also has a button right here on the side to turn it on and off. So that's actually sort of cool. I like that more than the the tail cap on off buttons. Except you can't really lock it out. Because you know with the tail cap you can press it and the spring uh, moves away from the battery contact or something so it doesn't do the parasitic sort of battery drain sort of a thing if you keep the battery in the light but that's okay like I said he's an 18650 battery it's got oh probably almost a dozen different modes uh, you know low medium high and then each one of those modes has a sub mode that's you know slightly you know brighter or dimmer Okay, and then there is a strobe mode as well. Uh, I don't think I can demonstrate it here right now. I always ride with a steady, a steady light beam like this, not a flashing strobe, because that annoys me. But it will call your attention, so. Some people prefer the flashing, some people prefer the steady, and I prefer the steady. You can do both, why not? Let's make a left. So if I missed any other details, they'll be in the video description below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Really quick, here's my light, the Zebra light. They're mounted on my bicycle. I can remove it from the bike by pushing on it like this, and it comes off that flashlight mount there. Very simple flashlight mount. To mount the, the light, I just put it on here and push it into place, and it just sort of wedges itself in there, and it's, it's very secure. And so, real quick, Here's the light again. Very small, very lightweight, very simple. It's got a belt clip, I like that. Awesome light, thanks for watching.